Oh, hey. Apparently we're in Seattle. That's 50 and raining all day. Yeah, so I'm just running over here to the bank. Need to make myself another deposit. And uh, really enjoying these Michelin Pilot Sports in water. Um, I've driven this obviously in the rain with the new tires uh, that I got in, I don't know, July, August. Um, and in the rain, it's fine. However, this has been a steady pouring rain all day. So it's not, the roads aren't just wet. You know, there's mostly standing water, less than an inch, obviously, over the entire road. Uh, so I've got to be really careful with acceleration or my little orange light goes off telling me the traction's active, which is good that it's doing its job. Uh, so I can't sl you know, slide around a corner and spin out being rear wheel drive. Um, but if I were to turn that off, this would be a big mess. Okay, so it's 4.03 p.m. I, uh, I, if you don't know, I uploaded the tech channel last week a couple of different videos about that Grabit iPad 2 case, which is pretty cool. And uh, I had to set them as unlisted until I got approval from the company that I'm reviewing this from to make them live. You know, they wanted to make sure that the videos were uh, what they wanted um, from me. So those are up. I uploaded them Thursday. I did not get them approved. I didn't even get their, um, well, they didn't get my, the email servers got dicked because we changed our hosting with Tech Inform, so they didn't even get the email until Monday. Anyways, uh, those videos are now live, but they didn't show up in anybody's subscription box because they had been uploaded four days previous to when they actually went live. So I had to go in there, set them to public, and now nobody's watching them. So I had to make this video um, to, to make those evident. Um, did some decent editing on it. I think it's simple, uh, exactly what I wanted here. Got me talking with the links there, and uh, then they fade out right here. And um, yeah, I love ScreenFlow. So uh, I just exported that, and I'm gonna upload that now. And of course, I'm gonna have to do the annotations and links to the channels and stuff. So uh, we're gonna upload that. Anyways, it's still raining. We're still in Seattle. It is about 44 degrees now, and it's just rained all day. We'll come out here and see how wet everything is. Just dicked. If we look over here, I've got somewhat of a lake right there in the low spot. I usually have a lake here. Look at all this crap and I have not actually sealed any of my wiring. So look at this. That's not even safe. So I need to wait till that dries off before I turn them on, and then I need to put them in plastic bags, which I usually do when I put them up, but uh, it's been getting dark so early I haven't had time to come out and, uh, and do that yet. So yeah, the wire comes out of here. I took the bulb out and put in one of those things, and then I run the wire down in there, down here through the crack, then it comes into this three-way hub. That uh, that white thing's a remote. It then splits off this way to do the four bushes that are over there. And then it splits off to do the rest of this stuff here. And they only say string 300 bulb Christmas light things together. Well, I by the end of this, I'll have about 30 together. And I've never had problems with the breaker going out or you know fires, explosions, tsunamis. None of that's ever actually happened with um, my vast array of lights, so that's good. But now it's time to come back in the warm house. Had some popcorn and watched some Family Guy a little bit ago. I, I needed that today. I got a lot of stuff done, but it wasn't fun. It was a Tuesday. <laughs> Anyways, we're done now. I have a week off, or six days technically. Um, tomorrow, it's gonna rain all day, so I can't go over there and blow the leaves. Instead, we're gonna go over there and clean crap out of the basement, because they wanted to do that. So I like to help people, and that's what I'm gonna do, damn it. And we're getting a lake out there again. Wow. Just dick. It is the 22nd of November, and it probably wouldn't be too bad to start putting Christmas stuff up here. I know a lot of you still think it's early. There's just those kind of people that, the kind of people that don't even want to see a pine cone till after Thanksgiving, and then it's fair game. But me, um, we're not real into Thanksgiving, and we've had Thanksgiving dinner in my dining room when the Christmas tree's up. But this year, uh, instead of being at my aunt's house, we're going to be at my grandparents' house. Not the ones that I usually go to, my mom's parents' house. Um, and my aunt's going over there. So that's what we're doing. Probably won't film much there. Um, so yeah, I think I may go down the basement and dig some of that Christmas stuff out and maybe put those candles on the windows tonight. I put the wires in, or at least the, uh, the beginning of what the wires will be. So I guess that's a step in the right direction. Let's go down and see what I have down there. These are our junky storage shelves. Um, a lot of this stuff in here is Christmas. I know that I think still is Christmas. That is. And then there's stuff back there and boxes from ECS tuning 
Here's all my electrics, electrics, electric stuff. There's the old headlights for the BMW. Uh, and then this is Christmas here. And a pillow. Why is there a pillow down here? I wouldn't know. So uh, we'll start here. It'll be interesting for both of us to see what we find. Oh, there's the bows that go on the front of the house. When I get my greenery in a couple weeks, I can go out there and throw that up and then get the bows on there. And in here, I have more Christmas lights. Good. I think this is actually the lights that go on the tree. I was hoping to find more because a lot of them had broken since last year. And this actually may be the stuff that we put above our cabinets too. Yep, then some other random stuff down there and a penguin, which you can't see. This camera sucks in low light, but that's all Christmas lights. It's always a surprise to open this stuff up, huh? All right. This, some of this goes in the kitchen. Some of it goes in the family room. There's a nutcracker. Stockings. Pine cones. Greenery down there. What a bang up job I did with packing. Yep, and there's the depot box. I actually need to make a video with that. I had a request about a month ago to talk about my new headlights from depot. I, do, I don't have the BMW OEM ones because they were about three times the price and at the time I couldn't afford it. Um, I like them. Right now I'm having problems with the auto leveling. Uh, about half the time I start the car and turn the lights on and they're supposed to, you turn them on and they point here, which is like down too low. And then a second, there's two uh, altitude sensors in the car and then they raise up or down to point on the road. Well, they haven't been doing that. That's been pissing me off. So I need to call Dave Walter BMW. It's not the leveling arms, just something's dick. The thing's 11 years old. What do you expect? Problems. So anyways, my old OEM BMW headlights are in there, but they're pretty beat up. I think you've seen them before. There's a Dell box with more Christmas crap in it. Here's the Dell box. This is definitely the mother load. Table centerpiece, big bow, I think that's for the tree, and a wreath. So I've actually got some time, it's only, uh, can we even read this thing? 4, 11, and uh, I have plans to go uh, with Canon tonight to a dinner at Marcelita's, Mexican restaurant. They're, uh, if you don't know, Hudson High School is building this big new field and track and everything. They want money for that. So this is like a come eat here. We'll donate some of the proceeds from the food to that. So I think we're going to that at like 7.30. The jazz band's going to be there. That'll be cool. Um, so as if you care, we're going to go through some of this stuff and start putting it up. See this monstrosity over here? Believe it or not, there's a Christmas tree under there. Obviously, it's an artificial tree. We take apart. We used to set it up down here again and then put that thing over it. But something happened. Why don't we do that anymore? I don't know. So, let's, uh, yep, still there. That thing hasn't been off in, like, I don't know, since January. There's a wreath. I think that goes on the porch because it's lit. And all the branches for the tree and the stand. And the old stand that's broken. We don't use that anymore. Why is it here? See, why is that here? That should be gone. We need to throw that away. But I'm not putting the tree up today, I don't have the time. Plus I have to move that couch, and usually that's a two-person job, because I can't lift a 350-pound couch by myself. Well, there's a start, I guess. Got a bit to go, though. All right, it's uh, 6.13, I'm picking Ken up in two minutes. I've been working for about an hour. Uh, I don't have that, the lights are in, they're just not plugged in, I've got a lot of wiring to do. Same story over here, but uh, that's what they'll look like when they're done. I got this done around there, and uh, that is not completely done because that corner looks like crap, but I'm working with that, so it's a big work in progress, but it's starting to come together. So I'm going to go ahead and feed my pussy, and uh, we'll go pick up Ken. Okay, so friggin' uh, we're home now. We just went over and grabbed dinner, and uh, we didn't actually get to sit where the band was playing, um, which I kind of wanted to do, but it was really busy, and well... I needed to get home to finish my decorating and stuff, so. Uh, that's done. Tomorrow's Wednesday, I'm going over to, I already told you, to work downstairs at their house, so. That'll be good to get some stuff did. But now I'm, out, I'm outside right now, and it's only maybe 50-something degrees. But it actually feels good. And it's finally stopped raining for the first time all day, so that's good. Uh, the guy directly across the street doesn't have his Christmas lights on now, so. Maybe they're out for the night. And if I look on these Christmas lights, doesn't that look like ice is beginning to form? But it, it can't be that cold, so it's just water that looks cool. <sighs> All right, it's 11.30. <laughs> I 
I have been working on this ever since um, we got back from the restaurant. And I think I am about done, aside from the tree and everything. That'll be later. But uh, everything is lit and wired. I'll kind of show you how it's wired. Turn off these lights. I've got two remotes. This one's for everything outside. Zone 3 turns off my garage and the garage, the candles in the window in the garage. And then 3 also turns off all of the, all of those lights. 2 on the remote, zone 2, is upstairs. It's all the candles in the windows upstairs. And then 1 is the candles in the windows downstairs. And that's my outside uh, stuff. And inside I have one remote here that controls everything, of course, but the TV. Porch light's still on. Everything else is off. That remote originates over here behind the cart with the record player <laughs> and the CD and the tape and everything, VCR, all the old stuff. Starts back there and comes across the fireplace, down. I got a cord around this big window. I got another cord, can't see it, around the door. Up over this row of cabinets, over the windows, and then there, also all the way across the house. Then this one, this is obviously the end, working back to the source, comes here, around the doors. The tree will be here, cord behind the TV, right back over here. So everything is on one circuit, which makes turning it off and on really freaking easy. All right, so that's it. I am going to edit this together. I gotta go tomorrow and help them in the basement, as I told you. That's right, cleaning out a basement. What a fun way to spend a Wednesday. But it's better than school. So, uh, talk to you on Saturday. Good night.